Life can be pretty tough in the desert, especially when everyone's trying to eat you. But when you're born with hind legs that are four times as long as your forearms, you sort of get used to disappointment. But hey, at least he kind of looks like a cool mini T-Rex, right? And although he may seem fragile, he can surprisingly be just as tough as one too. If you were to leave a human in the desert with no supplies, they wouldn't last very long. Jerboas, on the other hand, have lived there for millions of years, adapting themselves to survive all of the extreme conditions their barren home has to offer. But how are they able to withstand the extreme temperatures? What makes them so good at escaping from predators? And why don't they ever need a drink of water? Jerboas are bipedal rodents, which means they only use two feet for walking, just like you. But their walk is a lot more impressive than ours. These furry creatures use their extra long legs to cover about three meters in a single leap. Not too shabby, considering their body length is only about 10 centimeters. Predators in the desert typically catch their prey by predicting where they're going and intercepting their path. But Jerboas are anything but predictable. They travel in a zigzag trajectory and use a variety of movements to confuse their hunters. Even when they're moving at top speed, they can switch from running to jumping with both legs or hopping from one leg to another. The moves that Jerboas use to escape hungry predators are comparable to the moves that basketball players use to deke out their opponents. Now if only their arms were long enough to throw a ball. Hunters aren't the only threat that Jerboas have evolved to escape from. They also use their body to get away from the elements. In the desert, temperatures can either be extremely hot or extremely cold, and most animals wouldn't survive in either. But Jerboas aren't most animals. They use their short forearms and strong hind legs to burrow into the sand and escape the harsh climate. These small tunnels aren't just used to regulate their body temperature, they're also used for hibernating and for stealthy hunting. If you were to shove your head in the sand like a Jerboa, you'd probably just end up with a ton of sand in your nose and in your ears. That's why these adaptive creatures evolved to have folds of skin that can close off their nostrils and unique hairs that block off their ears. But their most impressive adaptation for living in the desert has to be their ability to survive without ever drinking water. Jerboas extract as much moisture as possible from their food, which is mostly seeds, with the odd treats of moist leaves or shoots. They hold on to their tiny water supply by minimizing their sweating, panting, breathing, urinating, and pooping. Even though Jerboas may look a little weird, their strange appearance is just a result of all their impressive adaptations. And that's why they're crazy creatures.